Welcome back, welcome back, everybody. How's everybody doing? How are you all doing? How you doing out there? And we're recording this on a Sunday. Like, <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is going, going up, up in a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we are cutting it short. You know, we've been busy. No, no? this is oh, the okay. fastest turnaround for an episode ever. Oh, oh, guys, so this is going to be a good one. Very special episode. There's shit just left in. <laughs> Mariah's like, special, all right. <laughs> Mariah's back on the chopping block for this episode. <laughs> I texted Jack. I was like, you have the week off. I was like, I got, I got it. <laughs> Enjoy it, kid. You know, I saw Jack on Friday, and I'm like, we're recording on Sunday. I, I was too scared to tell him. Imagine oh asking God. him, to, can you get it done in three hours? No. no. You I feel so you bad. You seen Zayn and I get Getting the last episode, oh, we no. were we were at Hyde. <laughs> we were at a table, and we Hyde had is like a club. By the had, way, yeah, it was like this crazy nightclub bottle service. Everything. We look over, and Ella showed up, and she pulls out the hard drive. It was and the she's funniest like, thing. I oh. met up with Jack, <laughs> and there ha she hands me the hard drive. Oh my god! And I'm just like, like we're like as everybody's going. She just hands on the hard drive. He's like, that. It's he like, has. I, I have. Like so, I have. I have video. show it. So. Funny, yeah. no days off. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was. We didn't even talk about that weekend yet. We haven't gotten there yet. I thought we talked about it last episode, but it's we like didn't. out of a mafia movie, or it's like the <laughs> launch codes, like in the middle of a nightclub. You're like handing this important Just hard drunk drive. as fuck the launch codes, <laughs> and then Thank us you. overnighting it to get to Mariah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You can explain that really quick. People are probably like, "What is what <laughs> is going Who? on?" The, you guys <laughs> don't know what happens behind the scenes, baby. It's a lot of a to lot get these of episodes trauma. Up. So stop asking us where the episodes are. <laughs> We're they trying. will be there. We are but human. We, Man. We got to be concise in this episode. We want to make this an easy edit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We do. Everybody speak clearly. Everybody slowly. speak into the mic this One time. I know we time. have problems with audio. <laughs> it's because we got to speak into the mic. And speak I speak into the microphone. I tend not to do that. Speak into the microphone. I just don't want the mic to be like this. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you know how most podcasts says the mic is like this on people oh, right. Right. for a reason. Put it, put it low and leave it right here. I know, but I feel like I always talk over the mic so people can't hear me. So guys, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's how I get though. When I'm like, <laughs> could you swallow and like the mic would hear it? Like if you put your throat up to it. Okay. Well, you're just hold on. Let's. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Oh! Hey guys, welcome back to Zane and Ian. Could we hear our heartbeats? Whose heart is beating the fastest? Mine, Probably mine. Mine always. Hold on. <coughs> Wait, one person at a time. Put okay, it to Zane. Okay, Zane. Zane's under his shirt right now. Is it picking it up? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, well, I, that, means, that means I'm dead. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a ghost. I'm a, I'm a zombie. But I feel like we haven't seen each other in a while, though. Yeah, I it's, know. It, it's like, everyone's it's been, been like, doing their own thing. Yeah. 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 But we got a lot to catch up on. This will be a fun let's, Guys, let's get this episode in before Matt leaves again for another fucking <laughs> wedding or some sort of something. I don't have one for a while. No, I was you, one you do have a time. bachelor party. Time. You do have a bachelor party and next so week. And so does he. I, yeah, I got to go to a bachelor party too. Oh, you do? Which one? <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> uh, Robert. Oh, cool. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I leave uh, in a few days, actually. Congratulations, Robert. Congrats, and I'm Robbie. going for my buddy John, my best friend since I was five. <laughs> Congratulations, John. Every single man. It's my best friend. I got to go home. I got to show my face. This is the most important bachelor party I think I will ever have to go to. So. I want to see how many weddings are going on this year after the pandemic because everything had to be pushed. Probably the most yeah. ever in history. Oh, yeah. But I just want to know the number. Oh, the venues are probably like oh, <laughs> and they're charging extra too uh, because they, they know we they had can. a year off. It's crazy. All right, let's fucking let's, run this yeah, shit. Let's yeah, let's jump into it. Jump Let into it, it. Jump into it. It's coffee talk, talk baby. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back <clears throat> to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. That's Heath. That's Zane. That's Mariah. That's Matt. Wow, very Ooh. good. And we are all here and present. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday or Tuesday if you're watching. Um, we're here. Speaking of matchy matchy, I got that exact green in here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Got to be coordinated just a little bit on this one. <laughs> I wasn't really coordinated this time. I, I'm always the one fucking it up though for some reason. No, you're good. Look at your socks. You have the green in here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. You have so many good outfits in your closet. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You went and bought a whole bunch of new clothes, and I'm surprised you don't wear Which them. Which one? The for ones from Zara? Yeah, you have all those like fun little Yeah, I got that for Hawaii, ups. but I didn't wear any of them. 
You've gone down to a medium now, so now I really can't steal any of your oh. clothes. Not gonna lie, no, I saw Zane doing yeses and noes with his clothes on like keeping or like putting <laughs> stuff away. You should have seen the clothes that I was. It looked like if somebody was to like make clothes in in a, in a way to make other people laugh at how bad and tacky it was. That's what, what it looked like. like. Rugrats? There, no, it, was no, just, it looked it like was... clothes from middle school, like that you still have in oh. your closet. That's oh, yeah. what I have that now. Like, <laughs> it was like a black t-shirt with like ghost flames that you could like barely read that said like, you, you know, like the, remember the metal bands, like the album cover, it'd be like in oh, like yeah. the, the lightning. Like and, yeah. Yeah. Vein. Yeah. 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 It was those type of shirts and, but they're, they were like almost new. <laughs> <laughs> still had tags on it. On it. <laughs> it. Yeah, they said like the dumbest shit too. It was like shark metal and like just like really <laughs> stupid shit. The the one that said uh Big Mama wants breakfast. What oh, wait, the, I like that what one. The fuck was that? <laughs> no, that one's, it's... Hold on, that was a yes. <laughs> that was in the keeper pile. There's, there's a shirt that I have. It has a weird face on it, and then it just says in like, uh, what's that font? Comic, uh, comic Sans font. Just Big Mama wants breakfast. I don't know why it says that. <laughs> It but I, a, I, I I like it. It's it's cute. It's a strange pile it's of clothes. Tough with, it's tough with social media because like when we wear an outfit, we like take a picture in it, or we're like in a long video. And then you we're can't wearing wear it, it again. And then you can't wear it again. I will. You'll never catch me dead in the shirt again. I, I used really? Remember, oh no, I wear it. <laughs> <laughs> remember, I used to wear the same shit all the time, and you guys gave me shit. So now I never wear the same clothes ever again. <laughs> That's what happens. I, it's crazy. I go through my clothes. I'm just like fuck. I wore that one. Wore that one. Wore uh -huh. that one. I'm running. I'm out. looking back at like old thumbnails, trying to figure out like which one I wore oh, yeah. last episode. Eh, sometimes I repeat it. Because remember, there was like eight videos of me wearing that San Marcos yellow uh, yeah. shirt. <laughs> and you, know, you know what sucks is like people see us like once a week on this, and they don't realize that a week has gone by. So if we wear the same outfit, like. Two weeks apart, it looks like it was just two episodes. Yeah. So it kind of oh, yeah. like looks dirty, but like uh -huh. obviously we've done laundry in two weeks. Right. And yeah. we forget laundry's a thing. I could wash these tonight. Actually, I don't wash my jeans too often. Oh, oh I wash them every time oh. because I don't like how like it gets loose. Right. My, I like, like when they're form fitting, but like I could wear these like twice a week and like be fine. Yeah. Or like blue jeans. Like everybody wears the same yeah. damn blue jeans, right? Mm -hmm. so you always have your favorite pair. Yeah, they fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. I bought a pair of light blue jeans the other day. I want to bring it back. Okay. Just bring it, bring it back. It I think I feel like guys don't wear blue jeans anymore. It's not a thing. Oh, I wear like blue they wear jeans black. all the time. I don't wear black. Uh, You'll never see me wearing black. Oh yeah, you don't you don't Oh wear black yeah. Jeans. Why don't you wear black? I think he's he, like he's like old school Hollister. Yeah. Was Hollister? there ever an old school Hollister? Or yeah, well, vines. back in the day, Hollister, their thing was like they would never have anything colored black. Oh. And now it's everything is black. I don't know. I think I'm, yeah, like I'm kind of like a preppy person, but I do that as like a code with my wardrobe because it like, I don't know. Do you think always... black is dark and... It's just not me. Yeah, I need to get rid of all my clothes though. I need to do like Depop or some shit like that. Did you have good of... outfits for Lollapalooza? No, I mean, we went to, uh, we went to, uh, what do you call it? Urban Outfitters, and I just got like a few things. I and then always, you, that's and the then you show up to go. the festival, and like six guys and are wearing dude, the exact same, wearing the top. same fucking thing. I have that funniest photo of you at VidCon at like an after party, and a guy's wearing the exact same floral yeah. print shirt as you, and you're so just like, so funny, <laughs> so funny. Why is that so embarrassing? I I don't find it embarrassing. I it's think it's just, so cool when someone else is wearing the same thing. I don't know. I think it's just everyone it's knows kind of where defeating. you went. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like oh, I thought I I really liked this. But somebody mm -hmm. else has it. Like, of course, people are gonna have it when you see yeah. it. I feel like <laughs> girls really care. What be? They want to be the only one wearing that outfit yeah. that night. You're an outfit repeater. Don't ask where wire. I got this shirt from. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> oh, everybody wants you to make an Instagram with all your outfits. I, you should I know. do it. Should I? Every time, every video we post, there's comments of people saying she needs to make an Instagram account for all. You know her why outfits. I'm not doing it? Because I don't want Natalie to think I'm copying her. Because she has like a Natalie's closet. But I'm like, but everybody so, does. So many it. girls yeah. do it. Yeah. I know so many girls do it. But like, that's just like, oh, I want her to have her thing. And I feel like that would help you, like business wise. I, I feel like that could like create something. Okay, cool doing it. Got this. Got this at Jaded London. <laughs> well, that's how we're meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it would be good for you. Okay, I'll do it. All right, when's the money coming in? <laughs> How was the festival though? You still have your backstage pass on because your wrist. Every time I'm like, all right, I need to, I need to go to the front and get scissors to cut it, and I walk by the front and I just forget. So the whole like after the festival that because we only went for like two hours. Yeah, did you even get backstage? Unbelievable. Two what? hours. You had a backstage pass for all four days, and you only went to the festival I know. for two hours. I was, and we tried so hard to get these backstage pass. It was so hard, and we finally got them. We were there for two hours, and we left. We we're like, oh, this. Why didn't you blows. guys stay? Because 
I don't know. I, I, the day was pretty, like, it, it wasn't sunny outside. It was really gloomy. And I think that kind of brought uh, us down a little. I would have I left it. And we fucking took a red eye. I hate when we take red eyes when we go on trips because it ruins your entire next day. Yeah. So we got there at night, got no sleep. And the next day, I was completely drained. And we had all these things to do. I was like, I, I don't even want to be here. I didn't, we didn't, barely did anything. We went to the festival. Two hours later, we left. And then we ended up like going to this. Who'd you see? Nobody. You wait. You didn't go to anybody. Said you didn't go to Brock Hampton, no, Olivia O'Brien. That was Sunday, and no, that and that was uh, that was Thursday, or yeah, that was Wednesday, or no, that was Thursday, and we didn't like show up. So until you later. just went and walked around. <laughs> we went straight into the area where like they have like all the artists or whatever. But like, did you see anyone? No, we didn't. I didn't see anybody. I didn't see oh, one man. person, one artist, or anybody. So while you we were there. you flew all the way out there to go to some random person's wedding reception but we didn't even really get to go because the next day so like after all that we're like okay at least we have the wedding to go this is gonna be fun it's gonna be so beautiful outside it's at lake geneva it's just oh. gonna be a beautiful day and everyone's gonna be happy two people two lovely people are getting married you know we're me jason Susie, we're so excited and we get <laughs> we get to lake geneva and we it, I, I went to Mason's the day before. I got this like expensive outfit. Jason had a fitting, everything. And so we, you know, we get dressed. We have to drop them off at the ceremony because D David and Natalie and Todd got like invited to like have a seat. So we had to oh. drop them off at like five. And then we went back to the hotel. We, you know, we got some food, we got dressed, and then we're sitting there. And the time comes to where we're supposed to show up. And they're like, don't come yet, don't come yet. And then we're sitting there. We're like, I don't think they know we're coming. I don't think anybody to the at the reception? wedding. To oh the reception, yeah. Like I don't think they were like they ever told them that. Hey, we have three extra people coming. I think this was just winging it, winging it. But we it, did like yeah, a casual crash. We oh, didn't know that so though. Bad. We thought like me and Jason, we got fucking ready. Pay per plate. Yes, yeah. Just sit down you can't just show up. I understand that, but like I just thought that they knew that we were coming, but they never. They I don't think they ever knew. So it hits like 9 30 10 and me and jason look at each other and Susie, it was so defeating we felt like losers that we just spent all day getting excited for this one and, and we drove got two hours from drove chicago two. <laughs> we just sat there me and jason watched an entire judd avatar movie in our in our suits waiting to be, <laughs> waiting to be invited to this wedding that we were never invited to and then we finally got the text to come but this is like i think they were waiting for everybody to be plastered for us to like show up and nobody to really care. Or they were waiting for everybody to finish eating. Yeah. Cause you wouldn't even have a seat. And then you'd be yeah. standing there. And I think people yeah. were drinking, but everyone was still in their seats. So like we couldn't show up because then we wouldn't have What time to was it at? We showed up at probably like 10, 15, 10, Oh yeah, 30. they were done eating a long time before that. <laughs> Oh, oh my we were there God. for like four or five hours, but it was—I mean—it was funny. In the end of the day, I get to talk about it did because if it went perfectly, it'd be pretty boring. Did you bust it out on the dance floor? I did. Yeah, yeah. I lost live, my voice because I was screaming. Live to the band songs. or DJ? It was a DJ. Okay. Yeah, he—he he looked like an English teacher. Like he didn't look like a real <laughs> DJ. It looked like a guy that was like he—he he taught, and then on the weekends he'll be like he'll do some little DJ. Uh huh. Probably has a little like a little uh, contract with the, <laughs> with, yeah. the with the hotel. Or the venue, <laughs> he whatever. does the pep rallies and the, the yeah. local weddings. What was yeah. the name of the bride and groom's name? Um, it was Sloan and Stephen. Oh, mm -hmm. nice little alliteration there. I don't know their last name. Did though. they have a hashtag? I didn't. You know, I didn't see any. Like, hashtags. what was his last name? Um, Saad. Saad. S -A -H -S -S so many S's. It, it was, oh, it, it I it. Saad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was no, probably, probably it. Yeah. No, she, yeah. came, she came up with her party. It said like in balloons, like a Saad Squad. Okay. <laughs> Assad squad. I don't know. I think it, yeah. it was, I think it was I playoff like block squad. Assad, yes. Assad squad. Assad, yes. Yeah. But yeah, that's all we did. Lake Geneva is fucking beautiful, by the way. Have you ever been there? No. No. It, I, this we, is in Wisconsin? J yeah. Okay. Me, Jason, and Susie, we, like, we couldn't believe how beautiful this place was. We, we were just like driving through because we were getting food before the wedding. And we didn't want to leave. It had like a cute little town and all these boats were out there. It looked like a painting. This is why and we need to travel and get I know, out more. I know. I agree. It was oh. it was really beautiful. And then we got some ice cream. Did you meet any girls? Um at the wedding or just in general? The wedding, you know. The wedding's little, the place little, to meet yeah. somebody. Um it was all her friends. I kinda like already knew all her friends, but I mean nobody Did anyone nobody just stuck out to me. Who caught the bouquet? Susie. Not only that. <laughs> did oh. she did she Toss She's the it. next to get married. No, no, like so the, the, the bouquet like was tossed. It hit it hit the chandelier and it fell to the floor. And Natalie like 
ran and Pushed grabbed girls him. <laughs> and then after that, Todd disappeared. <laughs> you never saw him. <laughs> never saw him. Did they, did they do a garter belt? Toss too. I feel uh, like they always it? toss the bouquet, but like garter. Where belts. the groom goes under her dress and grabs the garter, and oh. then he throws it to the men. And okay, then so like shoots I, it. and then those yeah, two yeah. have to dance. I didn't see this <laughs> part, like but horror. apparently they do one for the guys too. I didn't know that they do one for mm -hmm. the guys. Yeah, it's That's usually it's for belt. singles though. Like usually singles are supposed to do it, so like uh, those two people like dance. Oh, so uh, so Natalie and this random dude end up getting it. So like, and no, none of us knew that there was a <laughs> ceremony between the two. Yeah. When, when they both catch it, so they so everybody's like, all right, get them on the dance floor, and like they start dancing, and we all look at Todd, and Todd's like, I don't care, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. It was really funny because none of us expected. We didn't know what, like, I, right. I've been in a wedding in 10 fucking years. I have no idea. So you did the wedding and then there was a club night for David? <laughs> that No, that was the day. That was the night before. Okay. So after the festival, um, this this club, like, had David host an event and there. And people bought tickets to go. I, I didn't even know people. I, I thought it was like a, a I, just like yeah. a regular club I, night. I thought he was just happening to be there. I didn't yeah. know it was like David Dobrik's, like, event yeah, that we, people, like, you buy a table or a ticket to get in. I That's know my funny. cousins who lived in Chicago hit me up and they're like, "Can you get us into this?" I'm like, "Yeah, no problem." I hit up Natalie and she goes, "We only have a max for just us and we can't invite Matt, any guests." It was guests. really hard to get anybody in that yeah. place. Yeah, was I it thought fun? it would be easy. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Like everybody was just all dancing together. We got to go to the DJ booth. We got to play whatever songs we want. It was really fun. Now you said you weren't gonna drink before you uh, yes, went on I this did, trip. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> I told Heath. I looked at Heath. I was like, "Hey, dude, I'm not gonna drink. I'm gonna be really responsible. I'm gonna like, I'm, gonna, I'm strong." Oh, I saw the I got stories. This. <laughs> Zane's freaking knee move where he's on the ground like humping. And it's just... <laughs> you know what? It's the peer pressure because you know everybody knows about. I don't want to drink, and then everybody just like Zane. Dude. They're just so bad. Just so <laughs> bad. <laughs> because I think I'm like when it comes to like 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 having a good time going out and drinking like I'm the glue that sticks uh -huh. everybody because if I'm not drinking then everyone's just kind of like you mean that messy right. sticky stuff that everybody <laughs> wants off their hands the, the, <laughs> but, you know, you're, you're the it's vinegar. not the good glue it's the, it's the gorilla it's the gorilla glue you're the vinegar to the baking soda though yeah you, yeah you get the party popping hey at least I have, there's something to my name you know I have something that I can bring everybody together for. But we did that, and then we ended up, um, they got us this party bus, but it wasn't a party bus because you look at the outside, it's, it, it was legitimately a tram. You know the tram that you see like through like San Francisco? Oh, yes. It was well, one like of those. Trolley. It was a trolley. Sorry, not okay. a tram. And we're like, what the fuck is it? We, we go inside. It looks like it was turned into an, uh, a party bus in like 10 minutes. Like it oh, looked like shit. Dave was like, we need a party bus. And they're like, all we have is a trolley. And like, <laughs> turn it into a party bus. Oh, that's really You walk funny. in, there's Christmas lights on top. And like, it just, it looked, it looked funny. Yeah. And we're like, where's the stripper poles? <laughs> like they didn't have time. They didn't have time to. It, it, it was really. Was it a double decker? It wasn't a double decker. Oh, I would have been at the top, like a yeah. rooftop, like. Oh yeah. yeah. They should they should make party buses like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. Imagine a double decker rooftop, but the rooftop has the pole. That so goes you get up. to go down. No, no, no. You know the poles that like don't have like to be connected to the roof, and you could like like a switch. fire pole in the middle no, where you could go. He was talking about like a stripper pole. A stripper pole, but like you're but, saying but the, you like can a hole. Like swing around the edge of the bus oh and like. Oh my god! You know I mean? like, wait, 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 wait! What are you talking? Like I'm trying to there's, picture there's this. There's stripper poles that don't need to be attached to a yeah, roof. Yeah, they're just on the ground, and they kind of just like they they're like a little flexy. Oh, hold on. Th those exist? Yeah. yeah. That seems dangerous. <laughs> that seems dangerous. But imagine if that was just on top of the bus and you, <laughs> you could like just swing around and like you're just... Imagine the people falling off. It looks like Mad Max. Like, yeah. They, they, they're just swaying <laughs> over. That'd be so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, fuck. You gotta put a clip on that. That's yeah. so funny. The Mad Max series. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's good. I'm trying to remember anything else that happened. It was all a, it was all a blur. Um, um, and then we have bachelor parties this weekend. Mm, Where's yeah. your bachelor party? Tampa. Tampa. Mine's in Denver. Who's getting married? My buddy Rob. Okay, my buddy John. Yeah. Congrats, Rob. Congrats, John. Are you yeah. in like a bachelor group chat? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And it's funny, like, you're in the chat, and there's all these people that, like, you don't know. And they all yeah. have inside jokes because it's their friends uh -huh. they have made over the years. Yeah. Being, you're like, being in, like, a, a group chat for a bachelor party makes you realize, like, how crazy other groups of friends are, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Like like really fucking yeah. out there. And you're just like you you'll like check in up on it and you're just like And this is their time to really let loose and do whatever the but boys this is want. like this yeah. is like their shit that they've been looking for. Yes. Like, this is like the it's highlight. Huge for Even them. like the other boys. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Like we we do crazy shit all the time and we're like blessed and we're super lucky, but like <laughs> this is like they're looking this forward is to it. This they're is their, their like, like, moment like more mode for. They're like, we're gonna do uh, oh, yeah. uh, BMX biking one day, and then we're gonna do <laughs> this, and we need strippers, and I'm just like, Oh my god, <laughs> guys, please. <laughs> oh my god. But that is just... we're gonna be the opposite. We're just gonna be like, oh, do we have to go that crazy? <laughs> it's like, can we just go to Bush Gardens or something? I just want a golf trip. Take me to Scotland to golf, and that's St. Andrews. Oh, damn, that sounds nice. Uh, Mariah, are you nervous about Heath going on this bachelor party? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said the last one that he went to in Texas, like even the groom was like, like with because the other guys were <laughs> yeah. so crazy and oh single, my God. Yeah. and him and the groom were like, "Can we go home yet? Like this is dude, so like exhaust. It's tiring. That, that shit was crazy though. One dude, we got home. He was passed out. Wait, in which, the middle which bachelor? Of the street, which bachelor? Thomas's. Part? Oh, okay. One guy was passed out in the middle of the street. Like, one, oh, one of them? Like, one of yeah. you guys? <laughs> and we, like, showed up and, like, face down on the fucking concrete. Outside of the house you were staying in. Yes. <gasps> and we were just like, what the fuck is going on? So, like, got him inside and he was not doing good. We had to call the, <laughs> we had to call paramedics to come get him <laughs> because it was so bad. And, like, for some reason, this one kid. We lost him for an entire day. I what? Guess he's got like really bad, like, like this isn't funny, but like he gets like really like addicted to things. And like if he starts something, he doesn't want to stop. Uh -huh. So he got at the, the strip club one day. He <laughs> went by himself and he was there. I'm not joking. No way. For 12 fucking no hours. No way. How much money was that? That's like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of for dollars. For boobs? <laughs> Big boobs. Um, yeah, boobs no. are your most likely not gonna even like. Yeah. <laughs> just to see it. Just Google it. Hey, Google it. Imagine just you can Google image boobs anytime you want. Twelve uh, hours by himself. Yeah, crazy. And then wow. another kid. Uh, another kid. So the uh, the whole friend group is like big, like big big boys, and they're all like football guys, and they got into like this like wrestling match. One dude picked him up in the middle of the kitchen, slammed him on the fucking ground, <clears throat> cracked his fucking head. Like, it was this whole fucking... I'm not going to lie. This sounds like one of our weekends. Yeah. <laughs> it's it was, not too far off. <laughs> and, and me and the groom were just like... <laughs> all right let's right. call it all right i remember you telling me all these insane stories and it was so funny going to the wedding and they're all yeah, like yeah. dressed to the nines <laughs> just and just like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so and he was like so this is the guy that did this this is the guy and i was oh, like what funny. and they just look so nice like at the end of the yeah. aisle just like it's so funny what? to see them like put together you're looking at every single one of them just like i know what you did mm -hmm. <laughs> i know what you have you ever been to a bachelorette party, Mariah? Yeah. You have? What What has gone down at a bachelorette yeah, party? Yeah, I'm so what curious. Are the, what's the crazy like, shit? Like, Aaron's was really fun because we went to Utah. So we, Gilfoy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that already, yeah, that already happened. Yeah. Okay. We, we went uh, last January. Yeah. And it was really fun. It was just like a ski trip, but um, the boys went too, but they did their own thing. We did our own thing. And then at the end of the weekend, we all like did a nice dinner together, but we took like a horse up this mountain and all had dinner together the, like it was just you, nice you took horses up a mountain yeah it was like oh, it was beautiful. like fake it was like so insane so How, that was really fun and the other bachelorette party was my cousins we went to vegas but we just went to like one of the pool parties and then in chippendales no oh yeah. they went i yeah. drove there and they said they were going to chippendales and i was like i'll just drive the day after i just didn't want to go uh, you didn't, didn't want to see it a little thunder down under i just don't know i'm just like oh. Like, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to make eye contact. <laughs> Do you think male strip clubs make more money than female strip clubs? Or female strip clubs make oh, more money? Female, female strip clubs. Female, female strip clubs. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I don't, I don't really understand the whole penis thing. Well, yeah, because, like, at well, least well, you get you to mean? see boobs at, like, a female no, strip no, club. Not but, like, but, you know, I don't think you really get to see penises at all in male strip no. clubs. Like a Magic Mike <laughs> show, they're just, like, shirtless, right? And maybe they'll like rip no, off. No, I think I think, no, they, I think they, they can go they dick can out. like get real. I feel like they get really close to like really close to them. I think they it's go like dick as, out. as like as close as like a like female strip club would be. Does a woman run a male strip club? Like 
the audition is process. Oh. Is there like this old lady that comes and goes, let's see it, boys. <laughs> Shake it. Helicopter. <laughs> Helicopter. <laughs> let's see it. <laughs> like it pulls out like a like a, a tape measure, just going, he's good. Out, you're in, you're in, you're out. The thing is that there has to be, though. There has yes, to be like an older like, lady. Yeah. Uh, maybe because <laughs> you need like someone like that to run the show there right. like that's the only that's there's no better person than it like an older lady <laughs> old lady to run a male strip club <laughs> oh, that's but funny I, it just reminds me of that scene in the longest yard where the remember the uh one that worked at the prison <clears throat> oh, oh the, yes like somebody like I her i love that movie so love good. that movie that i movie also really, really love have you seen burlesque it's like uh, one of my favorite movies. Yeah, with Cher ever. and Christina Aguilera. So I've seen good. like bits of it. It's is that, so Is that good. the Chicago movie? No, that's not the same. I like Showgirls. Oh, you like Showgirls? Yeah. I like burlesque. They'll like but come out with. But they're actual dancers. It's kind of like the, the no vacancy vibe. Right. Okay. Speakeasy is like an like a a dark bar. Or it's like usually a, a bar yeah. that's disguised bar? as something else, and then you go into it. Like uh, speakeasies were places where people would drink during the prohibition when alcohol was illegal. So. There were like it. speakeasies in the backs of restaurants where it was a bar right. hidden illegally, but now people use that as like a facade to uh, like describe a place. I thought now you 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 uh, refer to speakeasies as an actual place where you hide, like where it's like hidden. I don't know. Uh, I think people just make places look like speakeasies. Yeah. You know that place that's like under that one hotel and like nobody knows about it, but you go in there and it's like a whole like nightclub. Probably. Like there's the like blind like barber Wayne's. in New York. Yeah. Danny Wayne's is like like walking into the fridge. Oh, no, feel got like. it. Okay. Oh, no vacancy sense. though. I think is one of the coolest like speakeasy style bars. And yeah. for the people who don't know, it's this bar in L.A. and it looks like this old Victorian house. Uh -huh. And you walk into this living room and there's no other doors or exits. What? The hallway. Oh, you enter like the hallway, which looks like you're entering like the for the for the foyer of a house. And then you enter this room, and there's a woman who's on the bed. And you have no, yeah. you're like, what? you're like, what the fuck is and going there's on? There's no yeah. other doors to exit. And so she's you're like, like, what's in like happening? A, like that kind of like burlesque. Yeah, she outfit. looks like a prostitute. Yeah, yeah. like she's there all night. And yeah. she's on the bed, and she goes, "Welcome to no vacancy, no photos when you're inside the, um, you know, the the bar or whatever. But enjoy your night." And then she'll like pull the edge of the bed post, and it then the bed moves. moves, and it's this hidden trap door under the bed, yeah. wow. and you enter. You've never been there. Oh, yeah. we gotta take Mariah there once. She would love that. I remember. I still have to go to Universal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You've never been to Universal no. Studios. Oh shit! It's right down the street. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too close to make it like exciting to like go. We've been wanting to go, but it's it's also like everywhere is so packed. Like Six Flags is super yeah. packed. Yeah. You gotta go on like a Wednesday when school has started. Yeah. So like no we one's wait on vacation. September then. Oh, that's close enough. Like, yeah. That's. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. It's oh, right there. Oh, do they do like Halloween specials? Or yeah. They, yeah. They Halloween have, uh, Hor Universal Halloween Horror Nights. Nights. Are, I've literally never been you, you, there. But you've never. <laughs> You've never heard of it because it's su it's such a big thing that they promote like they're, everywhere. I they're, just don't think I put two and two together. I just oh. know Six Flags and Fright Night. Oh, you you like you like horror, again? I, I you keep telling me you like horror movies, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I keep forgetting. I ask this question I, all I'm the time. I'm gonna go through all the videos and just put a compilation of every time you ask. <laughs> you like you horror? Like horror shows? <laughs> so the, so in the park they have like these um, warehouses that they set up as. Um, as haunted uh, houses, haunted houses. Yeah, and like, they, it's like by movies so like they'll have horror movies for each house and you get to walk through it and they do such an amazing job setting it up so like, like it's, halloween texas chainsaw massacre yeah they do krampus which is my favorite one and that's <laughs> the one where it's like the evil santa claus uh -huh. but you walk into the house and it smells like gingerbread and it's a christmas scene that's but it's cool. so oh, conflicting it. because you're so comforted by the smell of christmas and then you're getting scared the entire yeah. time that's my favorite they had one. it for all the saw movies it was so cool someone on tiktok posted something really recently about Horror Nights, and they think that they're building a Margaritaville Horror Nights. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. That's I would funny. fucking love I would that. go. People in the comments were like, it's 4.59 and it never turns to 5 o'clock. <laughs> it's a haunted Margaritaville. Escape from Margaritaville. <laughs> 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 they that's have to put you in a blender. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, that's really, that's, that's I really funny. I hope it's real, but they- They should do an escape room one. A Margaritaville escape. <laughs> no, not the Margaritaville, but I was thinking like the the places you were talking about. Oh. Yeah. Like the, doing an escape room, the movie one. Oh, oh yeah. That, that would, would be, be cool. But I don't, does, did Universal make that movie? I don't think they so. They only do Universal movies. Oh, that makes so much sense. But that's sense. why they that always have the best costumes, they have the best sets, because it's pulled all right from the studios right yeah. there. So the characters walking around are like so realistic. They have the most realistic weapons. 
<laughs> they do a really like, good job. Chase you. That's why I wish they had Whoville still, because I would have loved. I know that was the real set, right? Yeah, yeah. But I saw that that doesn't exist. But I wish I saw. <clears> that they got. It looked so. pretty. It looked pretty crappy. Like it got to the point where it's like they styrofoam. had to get it's rid like of it. Styrofoam. Yeah. yeah, but it's still like cool to see in person. Like, yeah. It was a fake the movie. War of the Worlds set's pretty cool. Like the, with the War of the Worlds set with like the, the airplane. The, the airplane. Oh yeah, and that stuff. that is crazy. That gives me fucking uh. Yeah, it's the most anxiety like, seeing that plane. Did your churches in your town ever do a thing called like Hell House or a Hell Night? At where a church, church? Hell no. and then they take you to mm -hmm. these, they take you to these far off haunted houses, and they will take you through these really disturbing haunted houses, but that are things about like. If you walk away from God, this is what can happen. So there's like oh, a suicide fuck. room, no. like oh. like uh, like abuse and like like abortion, like all like it's they use it as like this way of like trying scare to get you scare like... you into loving Jesus. Oh my! What they a... would do it around Halloween. What? They... Oh, they would do it around Halloween. I used to go to this little church That's and it was crazy. fun because it was like they had this band Whoa. playing and all the cute girls from my school would go there. So we would go and they would talk about Hell House Night and you can go see what hell is really like. And Jesus would not like that. If and my parents that. were like, you are not going to <laughs> that. No way. Wait, we should crazy. save this for the Halloween episode. This is good. Mm. Like, I feel like we're in October. Yeah, yeah. we are. Yeah. Cool. But I bet some people in the comments, though, have been to those where like. Damn, churches yeah, put it on. So, yeah, that's <laughs> we should we nuts. should go to one. What are y'all gonna be for Halloween? I don't. I'm really bad with costumes. You know what I, I think I would don't... be a fun costume? You know those people on live who like bounce the ping pong balls. Oh yeah, that's it, those so people really go on funny. TikTok live. Oh, why do I feel like it's a um? It's a video that like repeats itself. Like it's they never actually get it. Oh, because they go on live and you wait. That, yeah. And I sit there for five minutes. I know. And, like, <laughs> are they gonna get it? It they would just be funny if you had like yeah. a bunch of ping pong balls and like pots and pans but it like works. in front of you and you just do <laughs> that's it. Funny. Oh, that's funny. That's really good. I saw that one. Take it, steal it. I ain't gonna pull it off. Mariah should be Popeye's wife. <laughs> Olive, Olive oil. Olive oil. I did want to be her one year actually. I was Popeye for Halloween one year. Were you? Yeah, it was, I was a date for a sorority girl one time and she was olive oil and i was popeye oh yeah. cool. <laughs> what sorry i just looked at how high your pants are there i might as well look like, look like popeye, popeye. Yeah. Your knees. with the like, socks it's well, perfect i'm sitting up like this guys oh mm. shit sorry i'm just jealous you're tall and they can ride up on you like that all right well how was you how was your guys this week i yeah. have been under the weather uh for a week yeah you look like you were dying well you were dying I feel better now. I feel good. So, pass. And it's not COVID, thank God. So, yeah. that was uh, big news. Down with us like Ness. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, DoorDash. You want Chinese, they want pizza. Someone's always craving ice cream, Heath. Guilty. Now there's something for everybody on DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now directly to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need through DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, any household items directly to your door in under an hour. Ordering is super easy. All you got to do is open up the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside of your door with the new contactless delivery option. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or pick from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, Cheesecake National Factory. My favorite. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to order that right now. So it's here for after the episode. Ooh. Oh. Oh <gasps> my God. Yes. Get the crusted chicken Romano. Oh my God. Okay. That's oh exactly my God. what we're doing. And, and it gets here. Oh, okay. Well, let's get through this. Let's it get, get through this. And it, it comes here hot, I, too. Oh, I know. Oh my God. They're right, yes. so quick. DoorDash, it gets you. It gets it here in. Baby, Quick. no time. And you don't even got to move. You don't got to do nothing. It's cr it's crazy because I would never order from a restaurant, there, especially since it's far. But, like, they get it here so quick. I know. So, for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order, $15 or more, when you download the DoorDash app and use the code UNFILTER2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and use promo code UNFILTERED2021. Don't forget that's code UNFILTERED2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash, and let's get cracking on this right now. <laughs> yeah. We want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Public.com. Public.com is an investing app where you can buy and sell stocks, follow investors, and share ideas. And what's different about Public is that you can actually follow 
follow other users' portfolios, such as us, mm -hmm. Cody Co, Emma Chamberlain, Philip DeFranco, and thousands more. You can actually follow us on the app right now. This is my page right here. It's at Heath Hussar, and my picture's like this. And mine is at Zayna Jazzy, and it's just a selfie of me and Heath right in this room, baby, because where else am I going to take a selfie? A better selfie yet. Mm -hmm. And we're verified to, to let you know that you know it's actually us. It's official. And public doesn't sell your trades to market makers like other investment apps do. And as a bonus, you'll get a free slice of stock when you go to public.com slash unfiltered to download the public app. And you can get started today with as little as just a dollar, baby. What are you waiting for? So, baby, just go to public.com slash unfiltered to get a free stock slice, baby. Everybody likes free stock slices. The link will be in the description below. Make sure to check us out. Check out the app. It's awesome. Share your ideas. Let's be smart, baby. Let's invest our money. So thank you, Public, for sponsoring us and helping us make money. And thank you for helping them make money as well. Mm, even better. Oh, what was the cars that you were looking at? Oh, yeah. I, fuck, I, I, I FaceTimed you, remember? I know. In a fucking Bugatti Chiron. We, so you are not getting in a Bugatti. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, we so uh, Ilya set up this thing for... Uh, um, he was supposed to be there too, but he, he didn't go. He didn't go. The main car people, the people that love cars did not right. come on the trip. Make it make sense. <laughs> so we, uh, we met up with this guy. He like owns like this tire company. I'm not sure. I forgot the name, but loaded. This guy's fucking loaded. He has this like giant fucking house and he had like, I think it was like 11 supercars. It was like all worth like almost $7 million. All Just the cars in his driveway. What does he do? Hiding he money. Has, he owns like a tire car. Like it's a, I own the tires. Yeah. I don't own uh, the cars. I, 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 he can probably explain it better. He just uh, like yeah, does like rims, tires. Yeah, he, they it, do like fitment for um, cars. Like, you okay. know, like, you know, like your car stance. You could like slam it, caber the wheels, do a bunch of like different stuff to have like the aesthetic look for yeah. JDM stuff. Yeah, but just he's, he's doing really well. And... Uh, out of all the cars, he had one car specifically. It was a Bugatti. It was worth over $3 million, this car. It was fucking insane. Like, how do you have $3 million of, of uh, like, product of, of shit in yeah. one car? It like, makes no sense. You can't even use the bathroom. Like, yeah, there's no bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that is a home. Like, like, no way. It just moves from point A to point B. Yeah. It, I, the, um, the girl was saying just the bricks alone costed $180,000 each. Each. Crazy. How fast did they go? Over are they I'll, legal? I'll tell you. No, they're, are, they're, they're are legal. Are certain ones not legal? Why did I think some of them can't be in the U.S.? There's certain cars that aren't allowed here, but um, no, you could definitely have. Uh, Kylie has one. Yeah, Kylie has. She she has one too. Mm -hmm. um, That's the yeah, only one. Top one speed is like 300. Seen. And so you were looking at a Bugatti. Yeah. So the whole <laughs> the whole point of this trip was that Ilya and like Heath and Jonah could see these cars and drive it. None of them were there, so it was just all of us. <laughs> is don't that really... why David was wanting me to go so bad? Yeah. Oh, makes sense now. I yeah. was like, dude, I don't want to go to Lollapalooza. <laughs> Who fucking care? But you would have loved it because we were only there for a fucking hour and a half anyway. So that would have been literally the... Things that could have been brought to my attention know, days ago. I know, I know, but we, no communication. I know. But, but like, we just, just be like, know. hey, we're going to go see a Bugatti and a couple <laughs> other fucking crazy supercars. Yeah, telling Heat to go to Lollapalooza is not going to lure him in. I know, I know. We did <laughs> a bad job of that. here. But I didn't know we were seeing that either, to, to, right. to be fair. Um, but yeah, we saw this car and this car goes like fucking fast it goes it goes zero to 60 in like two point like three is something fucking nuts. quick and we took it to this like strip and um you drove it they, no i didn't drive it no oh, no I, well, I, I was not gonna drive that car i got I, to, I we got to drive the it was like a, it was a i don't even know the fucking car <laughs> It just it fucking pushed though like the it had like half the money of this car was in the um engine was it was just to uh fucking like when you when you like press on the uh gas it went and then it would just shoot you like what's this that is the part Bugatti? of the car no that's not the Bugatti it's the car that I was driving Maserati it was like a Audi Aston Martin oh, yeah, he drove the Audi R8 because he has he has an R8 he has the Aventador. Yeah. He has. Oh, look, I have a video. I can just it's show. the Hamilton collection on TikTok. Yeah, I'll just little. I'll show you the car right now. Which what I drove. <laughs> yeah. It shot How you. does an Aston Martin, <laughs> son of a car? Yeah, I have a video of it here. I can show you. Show you guys. This. But uh, we took the Bugatti to the strip. Sorry, I was just trying to. I was trying to brag how I got to drive one of the cars. But you know, not big deal. Did you like the Audi? It was fucking sick. I loved it. But you're selling um, your car now, though, right? 
Yeah, bye to bye get, to the to Lamborghini. Get the to, to get the no, get, don't get an Audi. <laughs> thing. Get something modest. Sam likes to know, start fresh once a year. Yeah, you're selling your house, your car, mm-hmm. but we'll your get clothes. To that. We'll get we'll <laughs> get to that. But let me. I, I just want to tell Heath about the Bugatti real quick. So David was driving each of us like he was going like full speed, like just show us like the power of this car, and. He took Susie first, and Susie was literally like, she fucking, puked in it. She, no, she <laughs> loved it. Though. That was like, dude, that was fucking awesome for her. She got, she's like, that was fucking insane. And I was like, I, I can't. Like, fast cars, like, I, I, I don't even drive my own car. Like, I hate going really fast in a car. And I was yeah. like, oh, I, yeah. I can't do this. So he was like, oh my God, come on, dude, you're going to love it. Look at Susie. She was freaking out. Everyone was like, do it, do it. I was like, bro, this is like one of the top things of like fears of mine, just like being in a really fast uh-huh. car. And I was like, dude, I can't, I can't. And then they finally got me to do it everybody and i got in and dude this motherfucker we were going like 130 it was fucking insane he got it all in the vlog too i was shitting my fucking pants really? i remember getting out of the car after we finished and i was like rolling on the floor like i was about to puke it was <laughs> fucking insane You're this like, car was a beast yeah they're, they're it was aggressive. a beast was it manual or automatic it automatic. was automatic. Oh, you nice. can't drive that shit, man. Go on that. Go I'm surprised that the car fast. that nice is like automatic. But yeah, it, but isn't it crazy that like they have cars go that fast, but it's illegal to drive it that fast anywhere? People just, it's always it yeah, always like, makes where no are you sense going? to me. Like, yeah. why? What's the, the highest speed limit in the United States? Is what 70, 80? 75, 80? 80 in Texas. Oh. <laughs> there it God, right when Can it came somebody out of my just mouth. make a compilation of every time Matt brings you know up what? Texas? I would we love should, to watch We should that. all have a side bet on who can get him to say Texas. Oh, first. we should bet on like times of the like the like the time like slot of the podcast. Third, yeah. third quarter. <laughs> That'd be funny. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't. Oh can't shit. That's funny. How was um, the uh the Countach? <laughs> the what? The, Excuse me. The Kunta, the, the white, the old school Lamborghini that was there. Oh, the the, the Wolf of Wall Street car. Yeah, dude, that was so. No, none of us well, drove it. Wait, like Susie got in it, but it was the fucking... Lamborghini Countach, the white one from yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. You yeah. saw? It's I don't oh, hold on. Cool. I don't think I it's that. that it's not car. that. It's no, not that, one, that like, one specifically, but like it's my that cousin. Car. My cousin Joe. He his friend has the one from the movie. Remember. The actual oh, really? one. The actual one. He really one. does. Yeah. Who, who, who's oh, cousin sh- Joe? Yeah. <laughs> your cousin Joe. They're from Staten Island. Wait, your they cousin Joe? Yeah. What a small world. That's small pretty cool. Fucking I, world. That, that's a car I get excited about. I only like yeah. cars from movies. Like if it's yeah. a DeLorean, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> if it's the the, 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 the mystery oh, machine, I'm like, yeah. whoa. This guy also had that golf screen thing. I, I know. know you love. He's got a simulator in the house. A simula- golf simulator. That's that's rich shit. That's some rich boy shit. When people have that in their house, are those actually expensive? Those like if you get a really nice one, they could be like sixty thousand. Oh wow, what? That's crazy. A golf, a nice golf. A golf it doesn't look like when you I look. Like at it, on, it doesn't look expensive. Wii when you Sports, see it. please. <laughs> <laughs> Wii Sports. Oh, I love Wii Sports. <laughs> but Mariah, you said I'm just, I'm selling my car. I, I I'm fucking I'm tired of it. The customer it's, service for Lamborghini. Had the, you've had the rental car more than your own car. <laughs> exactly. So like, I have to bring in my car like every like two weeks, and they, when they take it, it's there for a week and a half, two weeks, because they take so long. Because it's the only dealership in the entire city that um, can can like work on a Urus. And for the people who go, oh. it's a Lamborghini, a Lamborghini Urus, Urus for the people who don't know. And I'm, <laughs> some I, people don't know. No, I'm just saying like. And my freaking Lamborghini is the only dealership, <laughs> and it's just like it's there every two weeks. And I, <laughs> the best thing I love about your Lamborghini is whenever I have a friend from like college or my hometown come uh, yeah. and visit, they're just so excited to go sit in it. <laughs> like yeah. I'm like I text Zane, I'm like, can we just go sit in your car? And they're like, he's like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just taking your them car. You, they don't oh. get excited for your car. No, not I as excited, excited as just no. the designer. Matt, bag. if you ever need to borrow and make it look like your car, you can always, you know. <laughs> I'm too Always scared to drive. Like it's all in Italian. I have no fucking You're clue. Like, yeah, yeah, it's my car. <laughs> it's like strada, roba, cri, parada. I'm like, I, what is reverse? I don't know. I remember asking Heath, I'm like, what the fuck does this mean? He's like, dude, that's, that's sport. It's it says it. Drive. Sporta. But yeah, dude, it's just the fucking. I know I sounded like that, but like, dude, it's just the customer service. You expect to have the at least no. You pay, you pay a lot. You would, yeah. Decent so, customer service, yeah. and they just they hate me. So yeah. I'm I'm getting rid of. It. I'm gonna get something. I think Take that cheap. Lamborghini <laughs> with your customer care. I, well, I was telling him, I was like, dude, we should just tell him that like I'm getting rid of the car because of them, but like they don't care. Because no, that car is going right to somebody else, or we're just gonna go right back to that shop. Do you ever feel like everybody looks like their cars? <gasps> yes. Oh yeah. 
It's like people always say, like, oh, dogs look like their owners. Yeah. I always feel like everybody looks like their cars. You definitely drive. Yeah. Like, uh, Kia Soul. You look like, <laughs> you don't look like your Porsche, but you did look like Big Red. You looked like. Wow, well, I was a piece of trash back then. <laughs> fucking mullet. He looked like, like it then. Now he does look like this Porsche. Now, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, not, but like. You know, you know, like what you mean by like they look like, like their car. Think of every person you see driving a Prius. They look, look like, like they, they drive they look a, Prius. Like a Prius. My dad doesn't look like a Prius. He drives a Prius. Oh uh-huh. shit! He's, He's one like exception. Your dad, if I like categorize your dad with a car, it would definitely be like Mercedes. Like a BMW. Yeah, my yeah. dad is Mercedes for sure. Yeah. When I had the G wagon, I felt like it looked like me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the gold, yeah. the gold, just you like you are a Mercedes person. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, I miss your G wagon because that's also when you had a pink beard and we were driving oh, to yeah. Vegas <laughs> and people would always like just look at and Zay would just grin at people going. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people would stare I, at me. I, I really liked you in the G wagon. Yeah, I could. Yeah. But now, like, I I don't like it at all anymore because now the amount of people that I've met with G wagons, it's so common. It's it's just like, yeah. But that was a good one. Like but, yours had like a nice trim and color on it where it didn't look like tacky. It, it looked it, like rugged and fun. Yeah. And they had ashtrays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in the back seat, there were ashtrays. And it was weird because all it had in the console was a cup holder. That's and all it wasn't even like it was on the passenger side. On yeah, like, you gotta go oh, all yeah, the way. Yeah, that was the one thing. There was no cup holder. It was really weird how they set that. The new car. ones are really nice though. Yeah, people say I don't look my, like my car right now at all. I mm. I see it, but sometimes I think like I don't see it. You're driving like a luxury purse around yeah, all the I don't, time. I don't like, like it anymore. Sometimes yeah. you just need something with a little bit more stability uh-huh. to get you around. I love the it's Genesis. Too much. The, oh like my the god, Genesis. you see the one I have now? It's the like Hyundai an SUV. It's really nice. Do you have the Genesis SUV? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I dope. want to see it in person. Yeah. Our neighbor got I think one and such I was a like, great that, car. yes, they you, look so I, nice. I feel like they gave me that car because they know they know how they, know <laughs> <laughs> they keep giving me that the the other Genesis. It's like a, it's like a Bentayga. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice, the one they gave me this time. Wow. I'm gonna sell my truck and get a Kia Telluride. The, uh, oh, oh my gosh, they're so nice. I the Kia love that. Telluride. I love, I love that guy on TikTok who's just like, this is the Kia Telluride. And he shows you like everything really, He's really like the, quick. He's like the knockoff Doug DeMuro. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Kia Telluride. All right, Telluride. I have to look this up real quick because I have no idea what car they're you're talking so about. Nice. Kia oh, Telluride? Telluride? Yeah. Yes. That one like is, looks the like a Range Rover so nice. kind of. It looks so sporty and cool. I just wish Kia would switch up their logo. Oh, that's like, a good family make it car. Totally new. Get rid Kia? of the Kia logo. They did. Some have yeah. Oh, they the did new one. It. It's K I A, but in like a weird angular font. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a fancy version of the Jeep Renegade. No. <laughs> yeah. It lo- looks like a fancier version, like a bigger, fancier, like a nicer version I of it. I love that car. Dude, I saw the radio flyer wagon car that David had in his vlog in your neighborhood right when I pulled up. That's so it was weird. Just, the what? I wanted to the, see it in person. The too. wagon car that David oh, had that in his wagon vlog. Car was Someone fun. in the neighborhood had it. On this block. I was driving, you know, down the street near yeah. Keats, and I was in three blocks ahead of me. I just see it zoom by. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? That's even funnier to see it, like, out of context. And you know, everyone's walking. Walking their dogs right. and running down that street, <laughs> Every, you saw everyone's heads just turn. Like, what the? You know, there's a glitch in the matrix. You know, You're kids like, are screaming when they see that uh-huh. shit. A giant fucking wagon. It looks like a Grand Theft Auto hack. Like, <laughs> someone turned that right. into a vehicle, <laughs> and it was just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, fuck. I was, te- I was telling David, dude, you should have like a bunch of Girl Scout girls have their cookie, all their cookies, like, ma- like in a mountain in that wagon. Yes. Oh, that was, would look oh, so yeah. funny. Were you a Girl Scout? Mm-mm. Oh. Not my I, thing. I'm surprised you weren't like a like a like a scout in some. You know how they have Me? like little scout like girl like they have different. Yeah. You're yeah. No, I didn't do any of that. Never I just a danced. brownie. Remember Never a brownie. Remember the Boy Scouts? They had the cookies. My brother. <laughs> no, used to they do did that shit popcorn. The no, it was cookies. Girl Scout cookies. No, 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 no. Uh, co- uh, it was a cookie batter. They would sell like batter. Mm. Oh yeah, that was part. That was of, my like, brother. My brother. But they're did mostly that. trying to sell popcorn. I was a Cub Scout for five years. Oh, then what, I don't know what my brother was doing then because he had, was like, he a, a Boy kid. Scout or a Cub Scout? <laughs> oh, maybe Boy Scout. Maybe Boy Scouts are selling cookie batter, but yeah. Cub Scouts were selling popcorn, and oh, nobody yeah. ever wanted the fucking popcorn. Damn, what a, what a rough competition! You got to go against Girl Scout cookies. I know. You had that? to go door to door selling you popcorn. That's like the worst thing to Wait, sell. Wait, no popcorn. Oh my my, I think my God. parents got you know popcorn because they came in different flavors. I, every single year for Christmas, I would get that big tin of popcorn. Oh, yes, and the, that, that, that was the best, though. That yeah. was the best. None of us ate it. It my was grandma like cheddar, would always have it. Right, but you had, yeah. you had to submit an order. You had to, Girl Scouts have the product on deck. It's you oh, want yeah. it, here it is. 
we had to go fill out this sheet of paper <laughs> and no one's ever like yeah let me wait like a fucking week and a half to get <laughs> fucking popcorn <laughs> You know what I thought was the most fucked up thing? The uh, the fundraisers in school that were mandatory. <laughs> Hold, like they would give one? you the box of fucking candy. Yeah, to they would sell. make you oh, go work. Yeah, they, they would make, make you, you go fucking work. sell it. And they would like... make you sell it, but if you didn't come back and sell it all, you still owe the money. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. crazy. And then and then if you did sell it, you'd just get like a, a glow necklace. <laughs> like that, that was it. How was that forced on us? Like that... you you made me sell sixty dollars worth of candy. And if you didn't sell it by the due date, you had like a week or something, you still owed the $60 and, regardless of like and, child labor. And you we can't even like even give a, the candy back and be like, I, I didn't, didn't sell it. <laughs> and it's we like, don't even no. get a cut. We get no percentage off sales. But that's fucked up for the schools to do. Right. So it's like the superintendent's brother got caught in a pyramid scheme. And it's like, <laughs> hey, can you pass this on? They're, you're selling Mary Kay uh, products as a fourth <laughs> grader. <laughs> <laughs> Vending machines are just not cutting it, so they're just like making all the kids fucking do the work. Yeah, wow. And then everybody at school has to sell them, so you're not selling them in school because everybody's trying to sell their own product. Were they exactly. in those like cardboard like the fucking... boxes and all the sections? What and... was the what was the chocolate brand? It was like a brand that nobody's ever seen. Remember? Carmelo's. Do you Car remember? Is, is that is that what it was Carmelo's called? Carmelo's was like a bunch of Did them. people selling suckers all the time. Like <laughs> cheerleaders would be like selling suckers, those big little lollipops. <laughs> oh god! At our the school, the chupa chups. Yes, chupa chups. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. These wacky flavors, <laughs> and they would sell. They, these cheerleaders would carry these bags of suckers around, they would, like, and you had bobbers. to fish through your favorite flavors and hustle out cash to them. Oh, that's funny. What a fucking scam. Yeah. That boxing kid, that's so funny. Like how how that happened. I'm gonna be honest, I never did that. They didn't they didn't like you've never even seen it. Like no, yeah, school? I, I ha I've seen it my whole life. Their but, school like, wasn't hurting on no money. Ah. Uh, yeah, South was pretty bad. They would literally they'd go, here's your box. It, you have to sell it all and you have to bring the money back in a week. All the money, oh, like you don't man. get like if you didn't paper. sell it, you couldn't just bring the candy back and be like, I didn't sell it. Like what so the what, hell what, was that? What were box <laughs> Somebody tops? was collecting their cash at the end of the day. It was like, <laughs> what were box tops? Box tops. That were, was um, box tops is like something that you would just collect on your own, like from the food you're eating, and then you could like remember General turn Mills that cereal. In. There, there would be school there would be like a little school. mailbox that you would go to the school and you could drop off your box. Yeah, tops. And then I never, the I never would get did that. Money but. and it was like a nickel and a dime and. <laughs> Where did, did that, that money go? <laughs> yeah, what you, you really think about all these little things that schools would do. Where was the uh -uh. money going? They weren't it, replacing the books, that's for sure. It, it cuts <laughs> to the it cuts to the, the the teachers like in the teacher's office just <laughs> <laughs> keep them selling chocolate. We're keeping that room running, the teachers' lounge. Uh -huh. Probably the nicest part of the building. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. You guys, did you? Did you? Guys, no disrespect to teachers. We love you. Do you guys remember soda cans? Like you could like get like fifty percent off for like Six Flags and stuff yes. like that. Or your water parks and stuff. You cut it out of, of the coke. can. Yeah, can of Coke. If you brought the can of Coke, that was that was <laughs> to the going. fucking water park. <laughs> <laughs> get me in. Where's my discount? What you trying to cut it, but it's fucking cutting you. No, because I, <laughs> I had one for um for the horror nights. Oh. oh my god! And it was on the Coke can. Do they still have that? They still put like coupons. I doubt on the... it. I no doubt... way. Have you ever looked? I feel like no. we don't even look anymore. Uh, do we even drink soda <laughs> like that? No. I kind of miss that shit though. Like that was cool. I wonder if you yeah. could still. Did you know you could collect Dum Dum wrappers for for prizes? Where? Like you, the Dum Dum lollipops. You take the wrappers off and you collect them, and then you go online and you type in like the code and how many, like whatever. And then you can get like frisbees, backpacks. Like I used oh. to get them all the time. Oh, that's yeah. fun. And Damn. you can pick what you want, like a t-shirt. When you used to go to the bank when you were a kid, and your mom would put in like the thing. Oh, yeah, the tube. And you get and stickers. You get or dumb lollipops dumb. Or stickers. <laughs> you like try to wave at the window and go like boom, and then like they, when oh. there was no lollipop, you'd just be. I don't think they have those anymore. That's when like our parents really had to deposit checks because yes. now you can do it mobile. <laughs> they were there every right. week. They, they, I feel like they had them recently. I feel like I saw them in Florida like recently, like maybe the a year or two machine? ago. This, yeah, the two machines. They, when we when we went to go get money out when we did the um, the giveaway thing, they had the suck up machines. Oh yeah, at that chase. Right that was there. here. That was here. Yeah. So they still have them. Okay, that'd be cool to like buy an old bank and it's like a burger chain and you just <laughs> like the yeah. burgers. Yeah. <laughs> like, but what? But like. 
sometimes it just opens so all the sauce just goes <laughs> just <laughs> chili cheese dog just explodes <laughs> in it you're like oh. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck and you put like your card to pay for it and it's it just, just running like, through <laughs> all the sauce <laughs> 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 Just <laughs> licking off the chili cheese. <laughs> <laughs> <A> milkshake just. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Oh fuck, that's such a funny image. I, I have to see that. When that came out, it was probably like, yo, technology. Yeah. Peak. And like, where can there it go, go from so there? I was waiting for it. That was, we thought that was the peak <laughs> of techno technology. But now, now it's like, they built all that shit, and now you just do it on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> like. That's no fun. It's kind of it's, sad. It's sad. Yeah. It's they have no, to. Like, they have fun. to keep it running for the older people and doing that because they still don't know how to use yeah. a phone. If yeah. I robbed a bank, I would like rob it and then get dumb dumb. <laughs> 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 Just add a little spice to the beginning. <laughs> Robbing the shit as kids. That's what you walk out with. Oh man. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor for this episode, Wealthfront. Investing can be very complicated. With right? all the stonkies and the meme coins and yeah. the dojis, hoojis, what's a nuts. Exactly. Whether you're a beginner or you're uh or you've been investing for years, Wealthfront makes it super easy. And they have the right tools for every portfolio. No manual trades, no picking stocks, no watching the stock market every day. They automatically handle all the investing based on preferences that you control. Also, Wealthfront can even help you lower the taxes you pay as you invest. For the average client, their tax loss harvesting can more than cover the low annual 0.25% advisory fee. Best of all, it's automatic. Wealthfront is trusted with over $20 billion in assets and you can get your $5,000 managed for free. By going to wealthfront.com slash unfiltered. And best of all, you only need $500 to get started. Grow your wealth the easy way, baby, and let Wealthfront do the work for you. And we love letting people do work for us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> to get your first five thousand dollars made for free for life baby go to wealthfront.com slash unfiltered that's w-e-a-l-t-h-f-r-o-n-t dot com slash unfiltered to start growing your savings today go to wealthfront.com slash unfiltered to get started today thank you wealthfront we love you so much and thank you for doing all of our dirty work <laughs> we could talk about when we went to that um the karaoke bar and uh, this one, I, I like bought Zane like oh, a drink dude. and, uh, <laughs> I bought Zane a drink and this guy next to me was like, Oh, that's really nice. You bought, you, you bought him a drink. I was like, Oh yeah, it was, it was my best friend just bought him a drink. And like, dude, rock on. <laughs> and I was like, you want a drink too? And he was like, no, nah, you don't gotta do it. And I was like, no, here, what do you want? And then, uh, I bought him a shot and he was like, that was, that was really fucking cool. You man. I was like, yeah, no problem. And then uh, I was like, you look like a rock star. And he had this like crazy, like long hair, like rocker looking dude. Um, I'm scared. Who and was then it? Uh, he was like, oh, thanks. I, I do music stuff. I was like, what? Do you have like a band out here? He's like, I, I started a band um, a while ago and I kind of like hop around from bands now. Oh I was God. like, oh, what band did you start? He's like, you might probably wouldn't know him. Uh, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. <laughs> what? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we <laughs> always listen to that song. We still yeah. listen to and that song. And I was song. like, what the fuck? And I was like, cheers, bro. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, it was just and, so, and so we were at a karaoke. Did you tell him you knew him? You yeah. Knew him? Oh, okay, good. So we were at a karaoke bar, so we were like, you, like, you got to sing it. You got to oh, sing yeah. a song. He's like, what song? Is we're he, like, face, face down. down. And he was like, man, I can't do that song. Like, Is he the lead singer emotional. or like a... I think, he, I think he was like a guitarist and then also like backup vocals for it. Wow. That's really, really cool. funny. She, one day she will tell you that she got out of going around again. Yeah, we love the song, no, no, none of the words. It was like the best MySpace song. Yeah. yeah. We had that. It was just like. I had um, that for like a year as my fucking page song. Super effect. But yeah, I got, I remember me and Zane were like geeking. Yeah, I just we like we were like, so excited. Oh, I would have gone. We were like nuts. little family. <laughs> we kept we kept like looking at him, just like, oh my god, that's him, that's him. But we didn't know what he looked like. We yeah. didn't know like it was just cool that like we listened to that song still to this day, and it just we bump into. It. Yeah. So buy people shots, guys. Buy buy people drinks. You yeah. never know what band they were in. That Amy Poehler one will always have me. Like I always think about Amy Poehler. Yeah. That like like we drove by like this on Mulholland, and she was literally making a face while driving. Like, 
That's like that, so rehearsing lines rehearsing or something. Rehearsing lines. Yeah. She had to have been rehearsing That's lines. That's so good. Because why the fuck would she just be like, yeah, like literally making a crazy face while driving. Did you see I sent you Normani came to Playground, the studio that I, I saw dance that. at? Yo, Normani is... I wish I was here because I would have taken that class. Yeah. I would have been there. I was on Cloud9 when she was performing at the streamies. I was like... It was so intimate. We yeah. were, Our yeah. table was right there in front of her. I'm like, uh -huh. this Normani girl is, is great. Yeah, she's beautiful too. Yeah. Do you feel like a man when you push her around? Do you feel better now as she falls? But who sings that? That's, that's, it. that's the red jumpsuit what? apparatus. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to play it off like I knew exactly who we were talking about. I was Fake like, no way. Band. Yeah. Oh, reaction? wow. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. hear what you guys were singing because everyone was saying. We, were, we weren't singing the chorus. That's you why. You weren't singing any, anything. <laughs> it was like, oh, my thing, man, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see what's going down? Yes. I know I see the way you Because I, I looked at Mariah, and Mariah was like, I was like, Mariah, you definitely they, know this No, song. I know. They used to play it at school dances. <laughs> to the grave. Well, I'll tell you my friend. What a good song. Wow, so good. I saw him. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty crazy. sick. <laughs> Fuck Mariah with a late reaction. <laughs> we needed that when we said it. I know. I had no idea. I don't think I knew what anybody was talking about. Wait, how many? I, I wonder how many people are gonna like have the like the like the reaction. Oh my god! At the time you did, it's so funny. What? I, I like just pulled it up, um, on Spotify, and then I went to uh the song credits. Sure enough, there he is. Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's, That's so cool. wild. Anything else crazy happen? Oh, there's like that was four and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, I I as I've been staying at home doing my own thing recovering um i watched uh outer banks i gave it a shot season two well i watched season one and i was like you know what let me just try it out and see what the <laughs> hype is i went into it thinking it was going to be like the oc i didn't know what it's better oh, than the you, oc well, no, i don't I thought love it, you thought banks. it was a re like a, like a re not like reality i just thought it was like very like i do not know be what beach it is. life kind of like I wasn't really into teen it. Teen drama. Like a, like a, like a teen is, no. drama. It is I, teen drama. Yeah, right. But, but it's action packed. Oh, it's, it's like a, yeah. it's a new, it's a new age Goonies. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That and was I, like, that was. I didn't know it was like fucking treasure hunt, murder mystery type shit. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And yeah. I was like, that was, that was pretty good. And the guy from Whose Line Is It Anyway is like the girl's dad. Oh, uh, what's his name? Ch Ward, Chip but, something or. That was on, he really? He, he was on Whose Line Is It Anyway? With like Wayne Brady oh, and shit. all of that. Actually, I didn't catch that. Yeah, he's like the evil dad. I watched the beginning of season two and it's actually pretty good, but I also don't like Cla Outer Banks. I, I, wanna say, I keep wanting to say Cla Outer Banks. Cla I know, dude. Um, I keep, I keep no, I was surprised. I, I liked it way more than I thought I was going to. Yeah, I got a text from you and you were like, I'm just going to say it, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and you were like, I watched Outer Banks and I liked it. I was like, <laughs> no. Fucking John, I've never, I haven't seen John it yet. John B, man. I think Todd just wants to be John <laughs> Yeah. A hundred percent. No, yeah, he does. That, um, I can't believe they're on high school, though. That guy's like 29. Yeah. It's crazy that we met John B. You met him? Oh, yeah. yes. He ran up to, da like, like this is before the show came out. He People, ran up to David's Tesla. Well, a, like, a, a bunch of girls, like, recognized David in the car, and we were, like, in there, and then they came up, and they were, like, saying hi. They are like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. And then he was on the sidewalk, like, behind them and saw David and was like, yo, I'm going to be, I, I have my own Netflix show coming out. I'm, like, the star in this new Netflix show. And he was like, really? And then he was like, yeah, it's called Outer Banks. And we were like, yeah, okay. okay. We'll see you. <laughs> we're like, yeah, we'll see you on Netflix. And no, we we just, people say all the time, like, they got shit coming out. And they're like, big things coming. You hear it, you hear it a lot. Like, we hear it a lot. We when should you, have like, him on. I wish. That'd be sick. Didn't he DM Todd one time? Because he, like, yeah. liked Clouder Banks? Yeah. He watched uh, the first episode. What's his name? Chase, Chase Stokes. Chase Stokes. We Chase, are so uh, close. Chase Stokes, yes. if you're listening and watching, come We'd be on stoked over. to have you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's come just on, crazy man. that, like, looking back, like, that was him, and he, like, really did have a show. <laughs> we bumped into, like, a group of cheerleaders uh, on Hollywood, me and Carly, and they're like, we have a, we have a Netflix show yes, coming out. Cheer. It's called Cheer. I like, almost oh, okay. died. And then fucking three weeks later, the show comes out. It's the biggest fucking show on Netflix. I almost died when Carly said that you guys met them. I was yeah. like, no way. Oh, it was already out when we it met them. It was out, oh, but it was, it was oh, literally, shit. like... I think they were there to see the premiere. I think it like oh, premiered that day. Got that it, they got were it. Here. Okay. Sorry, I had yeah. my time. Oh, some of my favorite cheerleaders. I cannot believe she met them. They're from what's Texas. <laughs> of course, <they> <laughs> <laughs> Son of a they're bitch. from. 
<laughs> um, B.I. Yeah, watched uh, season one in a day and season two the next day. Well, do you watch Cloud or Banks? Um, yeah. I love Cloud or Banks. I never got casted. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not once in Clatter Banks. And Todd was always like, I have like the perfect role for you, but it's going to come and it just never happened. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised. I think, I think Todd was just finding his way out of that series, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it was like lost. They were just like, they didn't know what the plot even was. And they were... That's the beauty of it. That's I get nervous though because that's like my only acting gig that I, I ever know. get. So like every time he like sends me the script, I'm like, oh my god, like I have to like, I feel like that's I'm good, on a show. Though. It's the best way to practice. Is Todd gonna friend. make a season two though? I don't I know. Hope. Zane and I really thought we were gonna be in Euphoria season two. <laughs> 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 we were watching really? a show. We were watching it when season one came out, and we were like looking at each other like we have to be in season we're, two. We're gonna, we're gonna just, be extras. Extras. Just put us in one scene. Never happened. <laughs> but we firmly believed we were going to be in it. Yeah. If we need was... to have more fun with makeup. See, that yeah, right. <laughs> puts us in the are brain. You, are you watching that the, that Lotus show, The White Lotus? Yes. Yes. I it's... still can't figure it out, but I'm hooked. I was he... talking to Cody Ko about it. I watched an episode with Zane the other day. Well, he watched like the third episode. So like he just had, he had like really no idea what was going I on. I don't get it. it he, it's it's so like confusing. that the whole time, but the cast is so good. You know who the creator is? The guy who made School of Rock, not Richard Linklater, but the roommate, um, d the real Ned Schneebly. <laughs> Ed no way. That, it's his show. Oh, yeah. cool. I can't believe I don't know his name. Matt, why um, is the show like that? Why is it like on this like monotone? It's not going us, anywhere. Look at us, we're talking about it. Like, uh, I don't different. know. Or... I, it's gonna be like Parasite, I feel like, or you're just you're, just like something's gonna be like fucking crazy, yes. and, and then, then it's gonna everything leave us. is like you're on like total tension for something goes down, but like the music is what messes yeah. with you because yeah. you're like something's about to happen. Who do I like? Who do I not like? And how many episodes are out now? Four. Oh, we I, missed we missed like two. Episodes I know, we got to catch up tonight. I just I'm like there's some scenes in the show where like it's like a it's like a seven eight minute scene, and you're just like there was no point in that scene. Like it was just nothing, and like nothing happened. Really. And the things that are said, you're like, why is this the script? Yeah, yeah. Like some things are like weird, but like you want something crazy to happen because if something crazy happens, it's gonna make the whole show. It's just not happening yet. Yeah, it's not getting there. Something I'm still fucking... hooked though. I'm yeah. still hooked. Where I'm like, I gotta keep looking. All right. Well, that's uh, end of our segment of movie reviews. Make sure to check out all those movies and shows. Any crazy houses you guys have seen? No, no, but I do want to show you a couple of houses that I found, but we'll save it for the next episode. <laughs> oh, Godzilla finds. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for tuning in again to another mm. Zena Heath Unfiltered episode. Make sure you guys check out the highlights <laughs> channel. We post the audio form of this podcast every Monday and the video form on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Zena Heath every Tuesday. And um, yeah, anything to add, Mariah? No. <laughs> go follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. If you follow don't. everybody on Instagram, please. Yeah. Go, com and go spam month. us in the comments and say your favorite lines from any episode. <laughs> there you been go. On. Good plug, man. You know, there I feel go. like we never promote our Instagram. What's, what's our stuff? secret emoji of today's post? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We love you so much, and we'll see you next week. Peace, Peace out. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.